rise and shine beautiful souls so listen we are the rise family i of course am kevin and i'm Lacey, and i'm jamie and they are my beautiful queens our relationship just went viral and all of you guys a lot of you guys had something to say mm -hmm. right we're getting a lot of opinions from y'all all right we're not offended okay <laughs> we know the world that we live in uh our concept of love has been fed to us by the western world right our perception of it has been skewed by either by our, by our parents, right, by religion, or by the media. So our mind has been put into a box, right? In any relationship, whether it's romantic or sexual, that doesn't fit into this little box that we have our minds in, we deem it immoral. Yeah, that's right, we say it's wrong. And then we assert just harmful names at the people who are living those lifestyles. But what I did, we took the liberty to write down uh, some reasons that you actually might be polyamorous since y'all got so much to say. Now, after this video, you might feel a little bit different, okay? So Just six like reasons, like <laughs> six reasons you might be polyamorous. Here we go. The first reason is you always felt limited or confined in traditional relationships, okay? It makes it hard to commit. Now, a lot of guys out here, ladies too, have been single for a long time. And a lot of that reason is because you don't want to commit. Part of the reason you don't want to commit is because you don't want to give up everything else that you got going on. Yeah, you know what I mean? Freedom. Yes. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And you you think that because you're in a relationship, it means you have to what? Settle down. We have wow. we know we hear this word. You settle down. Ah oh, man, I got I'm giving up the game, bro. Yeah. That's what dudes. I got to give up the whole too, game. Too many fish in the ocean. Right. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and even if it's just doing what you like to do, or keeping the friends you already have maintained. If you are if you are a female um, and you have some male friends, you may not want to lose those male friends. The guy that you're dating may not be worthy of you of you uh, getting rid of those male friends, even if it's not sexual, so you'll just stay single. You may have a lot of things in your life going on to where you just don't want to commit, and a lot of it is because once you commit, you're not going to have the liberty to do those things or you're going to be doing your partner wrong. Mm -hmm. that, then that could mean if you enjoy you know, having sexual encounters, partying, just doing whatever you want to do. You know, you feel limited when you're in a relationship. Uh, it doesn't matter who you're dating. It's just something you always feel. It's just, you never, you feel like you never can be yourself, all right? Um, I, I put here that... Uh, you felt, have you ever felt like uh, you're not being an individual, but instead you're always focused on being faithful to your partner, right? And my question is, does that come from a place of love, right? Uh, freedom and security or does it come from a place of ownership jealousy fear and possession so if you are being faithful to your partner out of love freedom and security that's perfectly fine you might be monogamous but if you are being faithful to your partner and you know what I'm calling faithful the things that you and your partner have, have agreed that you shouldn't do right um, if you're doing those things um, to, to benefit your relationship as far as your partner because you don't want to get broke up with, right? Or like I said, possession or ownership, you might be polyamorous, right? So just why are you being faithful? Is it because you want to be faithful or because you don't want to get broke up with? Because mm -hmm. <laughs> a lot of y'all be faithful just because you don't want to cheat, it's right? It's supposed <laughs> to right. do. You're yep. supposed to be faithful, mm -hmm. but in deep down it's within yourself, every time you cater to this person, it gets on your nerves. Mm -hmm. You're like, job. I just want to be me. I yep. just want to do what I want to do. I shouldn't, I shouldn't have to blase, blase, blase. Facts. And many of you men, you might ask a lady out and she'll tell you, I have a boyfriend, but if I didn't, right? And many of you ladies, you might ask a man out, boy, if I didn't have a girl, they know they want to talk to you, but they know talking to you could ruin their relationship, right? So here's two. You can't be faithful to save your life. Unlike the first person, okay, who just won't commit because they don't want to lie. Every relationship you've ever been in, man or woman, <laughs> you fucked it up by cheating and it doesn't it doesn't matter how you felt about the person you could have loved the person and that many of you know that you can love somebody and still cheat many of you have lost somebody you really cared about they had everything that you wanted and needed seemingly and here you are now alone because you hurt that person and they won't take you back right and probably over and over again they could have gave you chance after chance and you know if you're honest with yourself every single relationship you've been in you've cheated even if it wasn't physical cheating you flirted up until the point of it maybe didn't get to it some of us got caught before we got to commit the act but that's still cheating right mm -hmm. you can't stop cheating to save your life if that's you you might be polyamorous okay mm -hmm. 
Uh, three, does your one partner fulfill you? All right, we learn so much about ourselves through others, through hanging out with others, through dating others, right? And good or bad, these, interac these interactions uh, help, to help us to evolve. Each one of us are a whole universe, right? And so different facets of different people bring out certain aspects of yourself. So if you're with a person who absolutely does not fulfill you and you know that you're not being fulfilled because you know the best parts of you are not coming forward, you might be polyamorous. You may be better, better suited for a relationship that allows you to have other people in your life. And it doesn't mean that the other person isn't good enough for you. Actually, what it means is that you actually may value that person more because being around other people could help bring out aspects in you that could strengthen the relationship you're currently in. Wow. Four. Communication and honesty are very important to you. You absolutely hate lying and being unfaithful, right? And being in an unfaithful relationship can cause you to lie to protect yourself or either the feelings of your spouse, right? Or your partner. So if you don't like lying, right? If you if you fall into that trap where you, you do cheat, right? Or you do something unfaithful, it can cause you to even treat your spouse different because you, you feel so guilty and bad for it now you go home and you don't even treat her or him right because you you know you know you done messed up you know you've broken the rules and now there's this thought in the back of your mind that they don't truly love you because they don't truly know you if your spouse knew everything that you were hiding from them would they still be with you that will haunt you that'll that'll, that'll, that'll sit there right in the back of your mind because you know you're lying about something and you know they don't know who you truly are they're in love with the image of you the idea that you're selling to them is who they love they don't love you they don't know you because you're not being honest the fifth reason, you might be polyamorous, okay? We get into it. You trust and love the connection with your partner. All right, you are confident that no one can replace the love that you have with them and interacting with them with other people, like I said, may actually strengthen your relationship. So you know that nothing is gonna come between you and the person that you love, okay? So you're, you're fully confident in pursuing other relationships, whether they be sexual or friendship, business or whatnot, you know they won't distort or contaminate the relationship that you have because your partner that, you, that you're with, you know they're there for life, right? And so for a lot of you guys who uh, may have a spouse ask you about polyamory, you may find it offensive to you. you may, it, may be, it may make you jealous to hear it. And you may feel like, well, if I let them do this, they're going to stop loving me. Actually, they may not. They actually may never stop loving you. Them wanting to pursue someone else may not have anything to do with their love for you personally, all right? Uh, six you are aware that you can love and or be attracted to more than one person at the same time. I saw this the other day, like a meme where it was like, can a man love a woman and cheat on her? And we saw so many men on there saying, absolutely he can. We saw women on there saying, yes, you can love a man and still cheat on him, right? Because we, we do these things, a lot of times we may feel bad for it, but we slept with the person that we slept with, we cheated with the person that we cheated with because something in us desired them something in them was fulfilling us and that's why we did it now we feel bad and we know that we still love that partner that we were with right we don't want to lose them and then if you if you end up falling for the person uh having emotions for the person that you're cheating with you know that that doesn't mean that you lose love for the other person you know we do this with friends we have so many different friends that we can love unconditionally all of them the same it seems like once we insert sex we start thinking that now it's impossible to love more than one person when in fact it's not impossible listen guys it's important to be honest if you if you consider in polyamory polygamy polygyny any type of relationship like that uh, because you want to make sure that you're getting a partner who, who's down with that you don't want to be lying right um trying to cover stuff up and you want to make sure that you're being fulfilled and that you're fulfilling the person that you're with so it's important that you find out what they're into um all of us claim to be into monogamy but with the way marriages and stuff happen and break down and divorce, the way relationships don't even make it to marriage simply because of unloyalty, disloyalty. And there um, are also people who they're bisexual. They like men and women, but they haven't come to a conclusion as to who they would like to be with for the long run. They actually have pros and cons with both sexes and would like to maintain both sexes and not have to make a decision whether they're going to marry a man or they're going to marry a woman. A being in a poly-based relationship could be helpful to you because in a sense, you can have both worlds at the same yes. time. Right. And guys, there's many different types of uh, polyamorous relationship. 
uh, the relationship itself is as unique as the people in them. Just like your monogamous relationship right now may look nothing like your monogamous relationship that you had previous to this one. And your next one may look totally different than this one. You know it's based on the partner that you're with. So don't ask, don't don't think about the, the um, just the semantics of it, like who sleeps with who and how often is no. You establish with your partner what it is you're looking for in a polyamory type relationship. You know what I mean? It may not even be sexual partners. You know what I mean? It may. When I mean, when I, it definitely could be sexual, but I mean like relationship wise where you're not like we're, we're all together. Oh, Lacey and Jamie are both with me. Right. But in some relationships, you may not have that. It could be you have a partner that you're with. Right. But then that other person that fulfills you, it could be just a vacation thing. A time and time thing, not all the time. You and your actual partner uh, may move, and that person may not come. You may still see them and fly and see them every now and then, but you know there are certain people in your life who you always want in your life, but they may not be in your life the way your partner is. You see what I'm saying? So some of you guys have been messing around with the same person cheating on your girl for the longest, and you know you love both of them. And if you get caught, you can jeopardize your personal life, her life, because here's the problem, man. When you tell your woman something, you got to understand, women are very spiritual and emotional beings. When you make all these promises to your woman, you have her lining her whole life up with what you said you want. Mm -hmm. When she catch you cheating, you literally destroy her world because she done fixed everything to line up with you. Mm -hmm. Men oftentimes don't do this, but women do this. Mm -hmm. So when you see the rage that come out of her, it does not mean that she wouldn't have been down with it if you didn't present it to her. It's because she lied. Mm -hmm. Many women will tell you, bro, if you didn't just lie. I could deal with you, but you a liar and I can't trust you now. Right. You see what I'm saying? So it, a lot of women have e even accepted that men like sex. They're going to they're gonna have it. Some women act like they don't even know you cheating just to be with you. And, and you most women, I was going to say, most women honestly believe that men are not capable of, of being faithful. Right. Yeah. So they've right. already accepted that as a truth. They be like, so men going to cheat. Yeah, men going to do what they do. Yeah. So mm -hmm. if, if you're dealing with a woman that already knows that, she would be more more open to accepting the reality of the situation as opposed to dealing with a liar when you're dealing with a liar is she created a reality for me that I didn't know about mm -hmm. and that's where all the rage comes from is I said in one of my previous lives that I can do anything as long as I know what I'm getting into that's when you right. take away what I'm getting into and you blindsight me it's a totally different reaction than it would have been had you have just been up front absolutely so be honest, family. If Sometimes if you just up front, you'll be surprised with what you end up with. And don't worry about the rest of the world agreeing with your relationship. If you are happy and your lady is fulfilled, your partner's in this relationship are fulfilled, y'all got something. All right? <laughs> and don't be afraid of rejection. At the end of the day, people that do not agree with your lifestyle and what you want for yourself are people that just don't belong in a romantic situation with you. It doesn't mean they don't belong in your life. It doesn't mean you guys can't be friends. It doesn't make you or them a bad person. It's just about preference. And also, you never know, your partner just might be into what you're into. Mm -hmm. Talk to them. Yeah, honesty. They say honesty yeah. saves everybody time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and listen, guys, my last thing is a, a lot of you I see rule out polyamory because you simply feel like you couldn't take it. I can't take sharing. Oh, girl, I would lose my mind. Ain't no fucking way, right? We hear this all the time. And even men, man, ain't no way I can share my woman. Ain't no way I can do this. I get it. But that doesn't mean you're not polyamorous. That jealousy is coming from your Western mindset that was given to you. Like your, your, your absolutely ego, who you think you are, the things that were given to you that, that you identify with. Mm -hmm. And you think that that's the lifestyle. So obviously these possession type qualities that we have now, they come from how we were raised, not you individually as a person, how you actually think. So actually, if you start practicing these type of lifestyles, men, men, you know it. How many men, how many times have you met a woman and she told you she had a man and you didn't care? Right. You said, what's your man got to do with me? Exactly. Uh, are you happy? That was polyamory. The, <laughs> right. the, the moment happy? that she decided to sleep with you, we that's polyamory. Yeah. Uh -huh. We could be friends. <laughs> right. <laughs> and you can't you have, can't have friends. friends. And women do that shit too. Uh -huh. Women do that shit too, knowing you got a girl. And, she don't, and they call them home because they got so many names for them, right? They willing to cheat and sneak around with you. All of this stuff. Mm -hmm. And they, they're willing to do it. But even some of these women say they couldn't handle it. But they do it. Do it in Look, secret, but crazy. can't do it in truth. Right? And, and then to end <laughs> right? it, brothers, what? ladies, listen. <laughs> I have personal friends who I know do not need to be in a relationship, especially if it's monogamous. <laughs> they cheat on everything. <laughs>
okay? And so it's so funny when I be like, why you even, why'd you even go with that girl? Right. I know you. Right. I know you're not gonna stop doing what you do. And some females, I be like, bruh, <laughs> this girl never needs to be in a relationship. Some of y'all, it just seems like single works for y'all. Yeah. But at the same time, you're lonely and you yeah. wanna share your life with somebody you might be polyamorous. I'm not trying to make this video to convince y'all you might be polyamorous, but consider how you are as a person and then look at these relationship dynamics. If you could choose your own relationship in the way you had it and it didn't come with the title and assertions, okay, with these titles, what relationship would you be in? Which type? If you wouldn't get insulted for whatever type of relationship you chose by your peers, what type of relationship would you choose? You might be polyamorous. Right, you might be. <laughs> All right, listen, y'all. Be evolution. Be the change that you want to see. No candle loses its flame from lighting another. And if you were to ever find yourself in the middle of chaos, it's in that chaos that you have found yourself. If you do not follow me already, follow me on Kevin Wesley B. The Evolution or Instagram Kevin Wesley B. or Kevin Genie. Lacey. You can also follow me at Lacey Lebeau, Moments of Clarity. And you can find me at DIY with the Rise Family. There you go. Peace. Peace.